Morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of WNBA Top Prize Picks Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crashboards DFS. A couple of picks for game two of the WNBA Finals tonight, guys. So let's go ahead and hop right into them. We did not have a Prize Picks video out for game one. So let's go ahead and jump right into the picks we have for tonight. Uh, just a couple of quick ones. Not going to talk your ear off. Pretty decisive about these. First one going to roll with Asia Wilson over three blocks plus steals. So over three stocks for Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson has been a beast in terms of steals and shot blocking all season long. Really, that's been the case all regular season and the playoffs. She's been incredible in this postseason as well. Over her last five games, all playoff games, she's averaging four stocks per game, and she's had three or more in every single one of those games. Uh, in the series opener, last game, series opener of the WNBA Finals, she had six stocks. So very impressive game one. Speaking of that game one, guys, very tough, very defensive game. A lot of it was played down low. I believe the majority of the series will be played that way. So I do expect Asia Wilson to remain active in the paint defensively. Uh, Alyssa Thomas, Duana Bonner, and John Paul Jones are all going to take most of the shots for Connecticut. Uh, their starters played a lot of minutes, all five of Connecticut starters playing 30 or more minutes in game one. So that will probably continue, which means a lot of this game should be played down low once again, providing Asia Wilson with plenty of opportunities to grab a couple blocks or maybe even a steal or two. Uh, like I was saying, those all those players for Connecticut, those star players, Bonner, Jones, Thomas, all mid-range to post players. Bonner puts up some threes now and then along with John Paul Jones. Alyssa Thomas is strictly a close to layup type player. Uh, Duana Bonner, definitely more so down low along with John Paul Jones. So expecting them to take most of the shots tonight and those should be down low. Uh, and then lastly for this one, guys, she's averaged four stocks per game in her last four versus Connecticut. That includes game one and three games in the regular season. I look for her to play tonight as she has all year long and as she has all year long against Connecticut. All in all, guys, we're just going to roll with the hot hand. We know what Asia Wilson can do defensively, and we know what she can do as a player, the 2022 WNBA MVP. So going to roll with Asia Wilson here. We'll take one last look at her chart. You'd love to see that. Has gone over three in her last three games, and the two games before that pushed. So uh, can't complain. Really like the pick. Going to stick with the hot hand. Before I hop in that second pick, guys, as always want to mention, this show is brought to you by Prize Picks. They're running a promo right now. If you guys click the link down below, it'll take you on over there. But Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. So you guys can build that bankroll, have some uh, free money to bet with, free promo funds. I would go ahead and get involved in that. Again, that link is down below in the description. And that promo is a first deposit match up to $100. Highly advised Prize Picks. Very fun DFS service where you're uh, building two to five slip parlays that you can bet in many different ways. So very fun, good opportunity to win money. And in this case, it's free money. It's promo money. So I would definitely, definitely take advantage of that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the second and final pick I have for tonight. It's going to be Kelsey Plum over two three-pointers made. Now, I know by looking at this chart, you're probably thinking this dude is a moron. Well, let me change your mind a little bit. Going with the over and going against the grain, obviously, guys. Plum been ice cold from deep over the last five, averaging just 1.2 made three-pointers per game. However, for the last few weeks, guys, this line was set at three. She was performing so well from the three-point range that this line was set at three. And it was almost to the point where no one was taking it anymore because you're pretty much either asking for a push or a crazy, crazy game where someone's having to shoot and make four three-pointers. Uh, even for Kelsey Plum, that's tough. But now that this thing has dropped from three to 2.5 and now to two, this is where I'm going to try to take advantage of this prop. On the season, Kelsey Plum made 3.1 threes per game. So over three made three-pointers per game over the regular season, shooting 42% from deep. Uh, she's a sharp shooter. She's just been on an unfortunate cold streak, guys. In the regular season, she averaged 3.3 threes made versus Connecticut in those games. Uh, she's been jacking up a lot of three-point attempts. Uh, she's averaging nearly seven attempts from deep in the playoffs. Uh, with her being a 42% shooter, like I mentioned from three, it's very reasonable for her to hit two or more, especially considering the fact that 
she went from hitting every single game to not hitting at all over the past few weeks. Uh, it seems like with this line being reduced, this is the perfect opportunity for Kelsey Plum to either push or go over. Uh, and the last note, guys, is that I'm picking the Aces to win by five or more today. I took the Aces minus four and a half in my best bets video. So the points are going to have to come from somewhere. Kelsey Plum shooting one from nine in game one of the WNBA Finals. If you guys have ever watched her, she plays with a chip on her shoulder. She is not someone I think that's going to come out and have back-to-back -back bad games. She's typically someone that will come out after having a bad game and play ridiculously aggressive. And to be quite honest, this Connecticut Sun team is strong down low, strong defensively in the paint. It leaves open opportunities for Kelsey Plum to make some of the threes that she's been taking. As I mentioned, uh, she's shooting seven attempts from deep in the playoffs, seven attempts per game from deep in this postseason. So the opportunity is there. We know she can shoot from three. We know she's a good shooter overall. I'm going to roll with Kelsey Plum. Uh, I'm going to expect her to come out aggressive in game two at home uh, with her home crowd behind her. So again, guys, the picks, Kelsey Plum over two three-pointers made and Asia Wilson over three blocks plus steals. That's going to do it for me, you guys. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to the Odd Chopper YouTube channel. A lot of great content, a lot of great content creators providing uh, very good stuff for you, no matter what sport you like. MLB, PGA, UFC. Uh, obviously, we have NFL now and NBA just around the corner. I have all your WNBA needs, so I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. As I mentioned, didn't have a prize picks video out for the last slate, so we're going to see what we can do with this one. This will be our first prize pick slip of the WNBA finals this season, so we'll see what we can do. Good luck, everybody. Hope everybody wins a little bit of money. And I will be talking to you guys before game three. If you guys are going to gamble this game in terms of betting lines and stuff, go check out my best bets video I posted this morning as well. It's also on the Odd Shopper YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Later.